Hi, this is Chris at The Wandering Bull. Today we're going to talk about beadwork, beaded garters, finger weaving. I have a bunch of examples, so we'll go through this quickly. Um, on my left, finger woven leg garters. They come in a pair. That's the center. And the ends are twisted. Or, nope, these guys are braided. So the yarn gets braided, little knots at the end. These are one of a kind. I have them in the yellow, the red and the black, and the red and the gray. These are on the website. These are loom beaded garters and with braided yarn on each end, different colors per side. You can see that. They're backed on, backed on leather with, and then backed with calico fabric as well. Um, and a little edge beading in here. This is a nice plateau belt, beautifully executed design, the flowers, tiny, tiny beads. This is a great belt. Um, these garters, Great Lakes area, yarn tassels at the end, pink pony beads, nice and wide, well executed. The beadwork is symmetrical, um, nice colors probably from 1980s, 1990s. This guy is probably early 1900s, if anything, late 1800s. Great greasy yellow background, that Cheyenne pink, a nice cobalt blue. This guy's missing the yarn on this end. The warp threads would extend past and are woven in with the yarn is braided with them in place. This guy's not only missing its yarn on one end, it's missing its whole other leg garter. So I only have a single. But a great example, great beads. These are much more modern. These are assumption sashes. This is the blue. This is the leg garter. And they come in blue and red. Here's the red sash. And here's the blue sash. These are modern examples of this older style that we'll talk about. They're coming out of Canada, so the blue sash, blue garters, red sash, red garters, on the website, we have them all the time. Um, nice finger-woven, hand finger-woven sash with the 80 pony beads added in as this belt was woven. These beads are not added after the fact. When the person is making it, they stitch those beads and drop them in place. A lot of time, and the ends are twisted, and they you can see the beads they toss in there as place as well. Once again, that sash is a one of a kind. Here's a couple of reproduction leg garters, and there's those 80 pony beads in there as well. And those are woven in place. The beads are added when the, the maker was making the sash, or the garters, sorry. And these garters are loom beaded and they're um, loom beaded. The warp threads are the green yarn at the end that is twisted um, for the tie. So nice reproduction of a, you know, 1820s to 1750s style leg garter. These would both fit that, that um, time frame. The last piece we're going to talk about is the oldest piece here. This is an assumption sash. The ladies of the Assumption taught the Huron people how to finger weave. So they were doing this to raise money. Um, so they were selling these items and still worn today. This guy's probably mid-1800s. I would say great condition for the age, but there is, you know, there's edge wear. And there's a few holes that have been patched. So this guy's been well-loved, well-used. Um, and it's nice to see that. Um, opposed to sitting on a shelf and collecting dust. And the fringes at the end, you know, they're fragile. It's obviously been used an awful lot. And those these would be much longer um, when it was first made. But over time, they have broken off and fallen, fallen apart. But a great example. Oh, here's one last hole I'll show you. That's unfortunate. But it shows that this belt was used and, and loved um, and worth fixing. So, once again, Chris at the Wandering Bull, 1-800-430-2855. Jump on the website. Give us a call if you have any questions on this stuff. Thanks a lot. 